Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ibina's Art Journal Prompts and more. It's September week five and time for me to do part two of our masterboard challenge. Of course we created the basic backgrounds for our masterboard last week. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below for you. Um, and this week we're going to decorate and enhance our masterboards even, even further, of course, if we want to. Um, now I'm going to be using a mixture of commercial um, stamps and stencils as well as household items as well. So, you know, if you don't have um, a huge stash of commercial stuff, don't worry about it. There are alternatives that you can use instead. Now, I've already um, stabilised my background by um, attaching some sellotape to the back of my paper. So this is just um, scotch paper and I've just stuck that down like like that just to hold it in place and stop it um, slipping around. I'm using a mix of both homemade and commercial mark making tools today. Um, this stencil that I'm using here is one that I've made myself by using my circle craft punches to cut shapes out of a piece of craft cardstock. You've seen me use that before when we've done the bouquet technique um, and this particular stencil here um, is a home decorating stencil. The plastic on this is quite thick and so I'm not getting a particularly clear impression but it just does doesn't matter, it's just adding interest to the page. Now I'm trying not to overthink where I place my stamping, um, but I am trying to get um, an even spread around the page just so that it looks cohesive. Now it's funny because when I pulled out these stamps and stencils to start adding the details to this page, um, I'd pulled out flowers and all kinds of things and I'm just drawn to circles today for some reason. Now there is a song in the uh, music charts at the moment called Circles by Post Malone and it's been playing quite a lot on the radio recently and I don't know whether subconsciously I've got that song in my head but I end up using nothing but circles and I absolutely love how this page turns out. I do a lot of layering of the shapes on this background. You can see here that um, I'm adding some of the blue to the pink circles that I put down earlier. I just think this um, makes things look more interesting. These colours coordinate really beautifully as well. I'm using the same colours that I used in the initial background. Um, you know, my page is already quite chaotic and so by using these same colours repeatedly over again, um, it just adds some kind of consistency so that the page doesn't become too overbearing. You'll see me use another household item to make marks in a minute. Um, this is a cotton reel and I really like the spiral pattern um, on this. Now I got asked a question last week about the consistency of the paint that I'm using. I'm using mainly Arteza and Ducraft Artiste paints again and I would say that they are medium bodied paints. Most of the colours are opaque although the green one here is more transparent um, but it doesn't matter. Um, there are no rules with this just use whatever paints you have. I think the important thing is to choose colours that you like. So I think the rest is pretty self-explanatory and I'm going to put some music on and let you sit back and watch the page develop.
think I'm going to leave this one here. Um, what a fun piece that is. Well, at least I think it is anyway. I love the colours, the playfulness of the circles. And as I said to you earlier, not what I intended at all, because I'd pulled out all kinds of flowers and, you know, fun number um, stamps and stencils. And, I've, you know, I've just gone completely with a circle theme. That's how it started off. Um, this is the original and I decided to work on one of the photocopies that I had done last week. This is the photocopy that I had done on mixed media paper for the reason being that I noticed when I played the video back last week that it was a bit fuzzy in places and I don't think my camera really likes the Arteza paper so I decided to work on mixed media paper which is smoother. Let's just talk about the supplies I used today. Majority of the things I used for this page are household items this is a stencil that I made myself just using various sizes of um, circle punches this is just a piece of craft cardstock you've seen me use those before when we've done the bokeh technique and then I've got various um, cardboard tubes um, I've got the I use the rubber end of a pencil just to make marks um, packaging these are just lids of, of cosmetics um, a nerf gun if you've got kids or grandkids then you know I'm sure that they've got something like this this lying around cotton reel glue stick um, these are my paintbrush protectors that um, you know are a bit of a signature thing for me to to use um, and that's one of those grips from the end of a pencil so you know you don't need um, commercial items I only use three um, commercial things today I used um, this decorating stencil this was a bit thick this is from the home decor um, section for sort of making marks on your on your walls and the plastic was a little bit thick so I didn't get a particularly clear impression but it was fun to use anyway um, and um, I use these two stamps here this is from a Claudine Helmuth set and this was free in a magazine I hope you like how I decided to decorate my masterboard. Um, I think everybody had a lot of fun with this last week. There was a huge amount of participation in the group and some of you had posted several different backgrounds as well, which was just, you know, really fun to see. Um, so I'm really excited about seeing how you decide to decorate your masterboards. I will be coming back over the coming weeks with some ideas as to how we can use these. I have already got um, a couple of videos sharing ideas for using your masterboard, so I will... Um, um, link those videos in the description box below for you um, and I'll also be having a go um, at some different designs as well because of course I've still got the photocopies that um, I had taken last oh, week. Have fun with your masterboards. I can't wait to see what designs everybody else comes up with um, and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.